Hello everybody and welcome to Chrono Plays in the Real World. Today I have something new which is shockingly common for this series. It is Nerd Block. Yes, every time I'm watching somebody on YouTube doing an unboxing from Loot Crate, there's always Always somebody in the comment who goes, oh, you should get ner Nerd Block. Nerd Block is just so much better than Loot Crate. So I went poking at it, looking up, going, what the crap is Nerd Block? Never heard of it before. And, uh, well, it turns out Nerd Block is shockingly like Loot Crate, where basically it's a box of random crap you get every month. Uh, but it is actually somewhat cooler for the simple fact that there are four different types of nerd blocks. There's uh, nerd blocks for boys and girls. That's the nerd block junior, basically. So for kids, which is really cool. I got my nephew uh, nerd block junior for Christmas. Uh, he liked it, so I'm going to let it go for a little while. Um, there's nerd block classic. And then there's nerd block arcade. Now, I was thinking about it, and I'm like, which one should I get? Well, Nerd Block Classic is kind of like Loot Crate, and Nerd Block Arcade is for gaming stuff. Well, I have Loot Crate, so I don't, you know, I have something that's shockingly like Nerd Block Classic. So I went with the Nerd Block Arcade, since I'm more of a gamer than just a straight-up, you know, generalized geek. So, yes, let's just take a moment to just soak in the box because the box is awesome uh it's an old nes system like the original nintendo system uh like it's got the little slot for you open it up for putting in the games power reset the two controllers it even has the audio video on the side and the rf connector on the back where you could switch between channel 3 and 4 AC adapter. Ooh, this must be a newer generation of Nintendo because my RF switch, the RF switch on my Nintendo is actually on a completely separate box. That's like it's like a RCA jack that goes into the back of the Nintendo and then there's a box which translates that signal into coax. Hmm. But yeah, so I just wanted to enjoy this. It even has all the little details, this little expansion port on the NES that I don't think was ever used in the United States. <laughs> oh, I just, I really like the box. Um, and I think it's cool that their packing tape is the uh, Konami code. Um, and it's also really cool that they actually have this much packing tape instead of the little strip that Loot Crate has. Now, first off, I'm going to say I am going to be comparing this a lot to Loot Crate, since that's kind of the point. And I apologize in advance if I mix the two up. I'm slightly dyslexic. I tend to do that. So, let us open this thing up and take a look. I did not open this already, because I just wanted to soak in the fact that the tape has the Konami code on it. So, let's open this thing up. You might be wondering what's up with the duct tape. Well, this is the packing label, and it has all of, you know, my information on it, which I wanted to cover it up. It also, thanks to the fact that this Nerd Block is apparently a Canadian company, which I actually didn't know about when I signed up for it, um, thanks to customs, a list of everything that's in the box is on the mailing label. So I covered it up so I didn't read it. So I have a vague idea what's in it, but from this point forward, I'll know not to read the mailing label. So let's open this thing up and take a look inside. And we have... Hashtag Arcade Block. Okay. Uh, on top, I have... Oh! Oh! Okay, I see, I see, I see. It's um, basically a joystick for the iPod. Uh, the iPod and the iPad probably works on the uh, <clears throat> it probably works on anything with a touch screen, so it would probably work on my phone. Um, but that's actually kind of cool. Basically, you stick it on there, and you can use it just like a you know, like a joystick for like old games and stuff. And it's a key ring too. Hmm, neat. Now, here's the thing that everybody keeps saying that's so much better than Loot Crate is the simple fact that every 
Ha! Ah, I just noticed this. Oh, I'm still amazed by the box. The box has a game in it. <laughs> you open up the lid, the box has a game in it. A boy and his block. Trouble in Blockolona? Wait. Blockolonia. Blockolonia. Okie dokie. I just think that's cool. That Okay, anyways. Okay, back to what I was saying. What I was saying is that everybody that has been saying that you should get, you know, Nerd Block instead of Loot Crate is because it always has a t-shirt. So here's our t-shirt. For Super Smash Brothers Brawl City. Wait, what? No, seriously. Super Smash Bros. Brawl City. Is this the thing I don't understand? I actually don't like Smash Brothers, so I don't play it or anything like that. Um, it looks really nice. I mean, it's... Oh, 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 I get it, 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 I get it. It's one of the mashup things. Um, it's, it's, uh, it's in the lettering, it's in the font of Grand Theft Auto. So it's like Grand Theft Auto Liberty City, so it's Super Smash Brothers Brawl City. I get it. I get it. Okay. Um, let's look at a few details. Since the first thing I noticed about Loot Crate was the simple fact that their shirts were, like, so thin. Um, these... This is much, much thicker. Uh, pure cotton. It's a really nice shirt. What are the washing things? Because the, the Loot Crate ones always say... Uh, Gentle wash. Um, I don't know. I can't read. I can't read it. No idea. I'll figure it out later. Instead of taking up all this time. Um, okay, so reaching in. We got an egg thing. It's... Uh, <clears throat> okay, I've seen these before. I don't know if these things actually exist in the United States. Not the three sat onion. Uh, but I've seen them on Ashen's, uh, in Great Britain, uh, Ashen's channel. Um, it's like a, a blind bag kind of thing, but it's an egg. I don't know if that's what's in the egg. That would actually be kind of cool if it is, but it could be a bunch of things if I remember correctly. So let's open this thing up and find out if it will let me open it. Thank you. Come on. Come on. Holy crap, Canada. Okay, I would point out that this thing said not to three sad onion. So it's for ages three and up. Um, or at least above three. So we're talking at least four. I can't open the damn thing. There we go. Uh, oh, okay. It's this guy. Um, whoop. Okay, so here's a list of all of them. So all of the things, we have Zelda, we have, it's been a long time since I played Wind Waker. I have the HD version on the Wii U, I just haven't played it that much. Uh, we have Zelda in pirate form, we have the Gorons, we have one of the bad guys. Oh, this is Phantom Hourglass. Oh, it's been even longer since I played that. Um, Zelda himself, and yeah, I got this guy. So, let's take a look at this. This thing is actually really cool looking. Yoink. And he apparently has a piece of the Triforce or something. I don't know. I'm not kidding when I say it's been a long time since I played Phantom Hourglass. No idea what these things are, really. All right. So we got a fa plate. We got a peg thing. I don't know if I'm following this. So apparently you stick the peg up his ass. Yep, apparently you stick his the peg up his ass. And then the peg goes into the hole, so he stands there. I don't know how that's supposed to stick. Hang on. Not a clue how this thing is supposed to stick. Yeah, it looks like it was just jammed in there like that on the picture. Let's look at the picture again. Yeah, it was just jammed in the hole on the picture. No real instructions, but hey, that's pretty much it. 
That looks pretty awesome, actually. <clears throat> I quite like that. That's really cool. I mean, I would have appreciated Link more, but... That's still pretty cool. I like that. All right, that's pretty sweet. That also looks very, very fragile, so we got to be careful with that. We have a Halo lanyard. Um, I'm assuming this is for, like, Halo 5, which I haven't played Halo 4. Halo Forerunner lanyard. Forerunner reclamer glyph, co-molded rubber charm, an ID window sleeve. Okie dokie. Um, that's cool. I don't recognize that symbol. I'm I'm going to take three guesses that it's the Forerunner symbol. Uh, but uh, it's been a long time since I played Halo as well. And I never played Halo 4. Um, I kind of stopped after... What was that one that was uh, all of the Special Forces, but it wasn't the Spartans? I forget. I played that. I think it might have been Fall of Reach, but I'm not 100% sure about that. Huh. Anyway, so that's still pretty cool. Um, I do like Halo. I do like me some Halo, even though I haven't played it all that much. We have a Portal 2 Scarf. You're kidding. Yoink. Okay, um, so to all of those people who I've been reading saying, Nerd Block is better, Nerd Block is better, so far, it is, <laughs> okay? That is awesome. I am wearing this to work tomorrow. Seriously. I'm wearing that right now. Um, no, I've been working in the basement, and the basement gets really, really cold, so I'm, I got a scarf. I'm not usually a scarf person. Well, now I am. And let's see what else we got. We got Sonic the Hedgehog Fridge Magnets. Okay, it's official. Nerd Block's better than... Uh... <laughs> okay, yeah, so far, Nerd Block is most definitely better than the other one that I have now forgotten the name of. It's been since wiped from my memory. Um, in the last, one, the last uh, Loot Crate... We got Tetris stickers, and I thought it was kind of idiotic that they're Tetris stickers. They should be magnets because it's Tetris. These are magnets. <laughs> okay, um, and these would be okay. I mean, I would understand if these were stickers, but they're magnets. That is awesome. Ah, I am impressed, and there's more in here. What are you? Uh, straight from the laboratory, uh, stay warm with GLaDOS's cold icy, or stay, <clears throat> let's see if I can try reading. Forgive me, I've been a little sick. Stay warm from GLaDOS's cold icy mechanical heart this holiday season with this Aperture branded scarf from Portal. Stylish and practical, which is exactly how we feel about you. No, really, we do. What? Why do you always question our sincerity? Do we warn you that the cake is a lie? Oh, didn't we warn you that the cake was a lie? Why do keep, people keep saying that the cake, <laughs> the cake was not a lie? Uh, oh, okay. This is that booklet that we get in Loot Crate. It's just this little thing <laughs> in Nerd Block. Uh, Halo Lanyard. Uh, the Sonic Fridge Magnets. The Zelda Figures touch control this is actually pretty awesome and then inside is a circuit board okay that was actually kind of badass um okay normally normally with like the other one it was yeah there's one or two things that are in there that are pretty cool um in this one i was kind of impressed with all of them um so yeah that's Nerd Block. Uh, link in the description if you want to get your own. It is a Canadian company, so if you're not in Canada, shipping problems. Just like if you're not in the U.S., you have shipping problems with Loot Crate. From my understanding, people still haven't gotten their Loot Crate thanks to Christmas. Um, I mean, it's January 
what is today? January 5th today. This is the Christmas nerd block. So shipping's fun. Uh, but yeah, there we go. So I am going to chalk this up as a complete total success. Um, for the record, the uh, junior nerd blocks, I believe, are $15 a month. I'm paying like $19 a month with shipping. Uh, the classic, I believe, is $20 a month, and the arcade, I know, is $20 a month. So, just throwing that information out there. Uh, so, yeah, link in the description if you want your own, and I will say to you guys, as always, keep playing the game, and have fun. And that means so much more right now. <laughs>